Donna with Embroidery.com. Welcome to this week's machine embroidery demo. So first up, I have these adorable patriotic teddy bears. Look how, oh my gosh, they are like so perfect. They are so freaking cute. Okay, so first you have the teddy bear, which um, this is again a PJ design. So the teddy bear I have paired with a thread set. So you get teddy bear brown, deep walnut, light charcoal, pecan pie, toasted almond, and very berry. So you can sew out the teddy bear. Now the teddy bear is all articulated, so you've got the arms and legs that attach with buttons, and then the head and the body are all done in the hoop. But then there's this adorable patriotic set to go with the teddy. Look how freaking cute. So for the lady, you've got the adorable bow in her hair, the cute hearts that say USA uh, for her dress. Let's show her dress here. You've got this cute little collar and then her red, white, and blue uh, cute little dress. So then for the guy, you've got Uncle Sam's hat. How cute. A cute bow tie. And then his vest. Again, a red, white, and blue vest. And then you've got the USA stars. So she's got hearts and he's got stars. And how perfect are these? Now, what I've done is I've attached these. Let's see if I can take one off. I've used just some double-sided sticky tape just to stick them right on uh, to the fabric right there. Um, and then the stars and the hearts have got eyelets in them. We've got ribbon and then I would tie the, that around their arms. So when they're hanging on the wall, You'd be able, that would be just tied right around their arms. But I've attached the hat and the vest and the bow ties with just some double-sided tape. You could uh, put some Velcro on the back, put the Velcro on the back of the, the pieces and then uh, some on the teddy bear to switch out all the outfits and stuff. But it's really up to you however you want to attach them. Um, they do have a grommet in the top of their head so that's how you could pin them to the wall is right through that grommet either with a push pin or a small nail to put it on your wall but oh my gosh I love these so I've paired this as you can kind of tell with glitter flex because it's perfect the adorable bows all with glitter flex and his hat and the stars and heart I just love it so I paired it with a lot of glitter flex because I thought you know I want to be able to give you a bunch of options so I've got the red white and blue so it can be like this the bright bright stuff but then I did like a darker like a sailor blue and then like a burgundy so you could do that like kind of rustic Americana type you know that rustic red white and blue but I did add some gold and silver and then I added um, so the glitter flex has a bunch of whites but they're not just white so I did a white with blue flex a white with red flex and a white with gold flex so you've got a bunch of options there well and then a white with silver for the red white and blue so you get 10 sheets of the glitter flex with this patriotic kit uh, patriotic design pack so I just absolutely love it I am so excited so I just it's just so so stinking cute so Okay, that is the patriotic teddy. So next, let's do these bibs. Oh my gosh. So this is Kimberbell's Little Sprouts. These are so stinking cute. So you get 14 different designs. And there's like, I mean, like uh, you can see here, there's this cute little peanut, or peanut, pea. Uh, burp now or forever hold your peas. How cute. Um, homegrown carrots. So berry loved, a little berry, watermelon, this cute little frog. Girl, she used some minky for the cute little frog. I'm unforgettable. How fun. So there's 14 different designs. And then you've got two different sizes of the bibs. Um, and they're, they're, they're not bad sizes. But look how cute. Different uh, types of fabrics um, that she used here on these two. And then on these ones, she actually did them... Uh, she didn't use the 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 bib uh, part of this because she wanted to make it a little bit bigger. So um, it's a bigger bib, but she used the design. And again, look how look how fun 
So if you've got any little ones coming, these are like the perfect baby shower gifts. Um, you know, grandbaby gifts. Just, uh, they're so stinking cute. So that is Little Sprouts from Kimberbell. I mean, you wouldn't even have to do them on bitch. You could do them on onesies. Uh, they're just so cute. What else do they have? Oh, they've got like a peach, <laughs> life's peachy, um, a ladybug, bugs and kisses. So fun, so cute. Okay, another USA one is this adorable banner. So this is from Pumpkin Designs. It's summer banners. I paired it with some glitter flex, but you get, not only do you get uh, the USA one, uh, a couple weeks ago I showed you the welcome banner, so you get that one as well. So you get the welcome and then this USA one, which she actually chenilled and I think it turned out amazing, but you could glitter flex it. So you get a larger uh, size of glitter flex because I wanted you to be able to have the options of doing the welcome in glitter flex as well. So you've got the red and the blue and then uh, some the rainbow white, uh, white with silver and white with gold for the cute, cute USA banner. How much fun is that? I love the little ribbons that she she added. Uh, you could even add, like uh, a couple weeks ago I did that 4th of July swirls. You could actually stitch those on some pendants and add that to make it longer and bigger. So much fun, so cute, 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 cute. I am totally loving Glitter Flex. Okay, so finally is Kimberbell's Hello Sunshine. This book is freaking amazing. There are so many things you can do in it. So it um, has all the designs in there for that for the nice big, big quilt. But you can use the designs and do individual things with it. Look how many projects she did. So she did this adorable sprinkle kindness like confetti, cute dish towel. I love that she did it in the, the, the blue and red and the gold. It's perfect for your summer kitchen. And then look at this adorable little apron. How cute, enjoy the little things. You could have your little one all cute in a little apron, helping you do whatever, cut water. Well, don't have them help you cut water, Melon, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Have your cute little one in an adorable little apron. Oh, I love this. This, this, this bike is like one of my favorites because you've got like so many different types of techniques. You've got the fun with fringe little flowers here, these adorable uh, balloons, you know, that are tacked down. Just absolutely adorable. I love that she put this on canvas. So this could, you know, be out on your porch for the summer and uh, the nice heavy duty canvas uh, would be perfect for outside. She also did a larger apron with the ice cream cone on it. And this is all applique fabric. And then she just added the adorable button on top. I just, I love this book. It's amazing. There are so many things in there that you can use to make a plethora of items without having to make the entire quilt if you don't want to. It's one of the best things I love about Kimberbell is the versatility in the design uh, that you get. It's the, the, the possibilities are completely limitless just on your imagination and how, on what you want to stitch on. So, okay you guys, that is it for this week's machine and birdie demo. Head on over to my uh, machine uh, blog on embroidery.com. I will have all of this linked in there. Make sure you turn your notifications on because that's how you'll know a new video is up. As always, I love to hear your comments and suggestions, so leave those for me below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Happy stitching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!